what is up guys this is Karan here welcome back to tech Karan youtube channel and i have installed the nikita gcam version 1.1 if you have ever heard about nikita gcam versions these kind of versions which are based on google camera 7 point something like in my case i'm using gcam 7.4 the nikita gcam you already know that this gcam is quite great some great features and works very good it works almost almost all devices if you have a device which supports gcam and have the camera to api enabled you should try out this gcam on your device which are the features you get here i'm going to share with you all those things make sure to watch this video till the end and now let's get started quickly guys this is the gcam look first of all whenever you open this gcam on your device if you talk about some features we have the google awb feature available here which is by default off you can turn on if you want to we have the hdr plus feature so that you can enable the hdr plus from here you can also enable the hdr plus enhanced and if you enable the hdr plus enhanced the motion will be disabled automatically by default it will be automatic even on or off the motion if you want to we have the timer option the ratio option and these kind of things as expected almost every feature here is perfectly fine here portrait mode camera mode night side mode and these kind of things works very very cool if you don't know how's the night night side of a gcam you should try out a, a pick in night at night on your home in your home you will feel a beautiful difference if you compare it with your stock cam with your gcam you already know that gcam is one of the great ever gcams available for almost every device if you talk about the more you have the google lens option available slow motion panorama and photosphere almost every feature in this gcam is perfectly fine in my case and if you are a user which is using xiaomi devices and also using miui 12 or also using android 10 then this gcam will definitely work for you if you're using any other device and if you're using any other device version i'm not sure but this gcam will definitely work on android and based homes now let's move on to settings let's check out some cool features of this gcam first of all as a save location if you don't know what is save location yes wherever you click photos it will access your location then it will save your location also for that picture the framing hints option the social share option and these kind of things actually i have enabled the config from the nikita xml let me show you which config i have enabled this time just double tap here sorry double tap here you will see the config option available here i have saved my config and this one is nick 1.1 xml if you need this gcam i'll provide the link for this g this config in the description so that you can go and download that easily if you want to let me show you some other things in this settings when we go to settings the social share option available we also have the gesture so volume key the shutter double tap direction to switch camera these are the things you can adjust on your own just click here and then you'll be able to choose what is your double tap action whenever you double tap on your device when when while your device camera is open you can switch the camera or you can zoom the camera these are some great features which you get in gcam only we have gestures where the frequent faces option available which is one of the great things and this feature is available in gcam and you're using a cam which is quite good automatically in performance and these kind of things and frequent faces is available is quite great just go to advanced option you have the hdr plus control option available i have enabled that's where the option is uh, option is showing there and if you don't have the hdr plus option available which means you have to enable it from here the show dirty lens warning is quite great thing a very cool feature store videos efficiently social media depth features these are some cool features which you get in gcam the maximum screen brightness option is quite great so whenever you click a picture you don't need to increase your full brightness of your device it will automatically maximize your screen brightness whenever you open gcam on your device say portraits to dcm camera so it will not make separate folders whenever you click a portrait photo if you don't know what is this sometimes if you click a photo without even enabling this feature then the portrait picture the portrait photo is created in a, in a separate folder so this is kind of irritating thing just deleting the folders and sharing the picture here and there you also have the option of choosing your device model sensor so pixel awb in hdr enhanced we have a lot of sensors options available and by default it will be at auto i have enabled the nikita nikita xml so that's why it has sony imx586 you can choose any other option also and these configs works definitely so that you will not feel any difference here these kind of 
things you might get in only gcam not get in any other cams available anywhere on the internet back camera you can customize if you click here we have these kind of models pixel xl pixel 2 xl pixel 3 xl pixel 3 a xl pixel 4 and pixel 4 xl these kind of things available and front camera has a nexus 5x nexus 6p pixel 4 or pixel xl you can try all these things so whichever suits you you can choose that one let's go back let's check out some hdr plus enhanced frames let me show you sorry here you have 9 12 15 18 and these kind of things if you know what you can do is very very cool things are available exposure compensation some other things include the disable hexagon dsp enable sabre disable zoom in portrait mode af data hide force jpeg format and this is the stream config option which is quite great enable device cells and these kind of things are available if you're pro here you can adjust these kind of things or also you can import the xml files if you don't know which settings you need to do simply what you have to do is double tap here at the black space now choose the config whichever you have how to store the config where to store the config let me show you just open your file manager and then make a folder named gcam first of all in your internal storage here you have to make a folder named configs 7 and these folders need to make and then put your xml here and then you will see these xml in your gcam this was quite easy to do these kind of things so this was all from this gcam nikita 1.1 the latest gcam based on 7.4 if you like it don't forget to like and share this video and this was all thanks for watching goodbye